Good morning, good morning. How are you doing this morning? I hope you're having a great, great Thursday morning. So if you haven't been in one of my classes before, let me introduce myself. My name is Alex Cooper. I teach the computer classes at the Columbia County Library in Evans, Georgia. <laughs> the uh, um, Harlem Library, Uchi Creek, now our Grovetown Library, yay, <laughs> with our new building and everything. So very glad that you're here with me today. Okay, so today's class is we're going to talk about Libby, which is our new ebook, audiobook uh, app uh, that you can download. And as long as you have your library card, you can download um, ebooks and audiobooks and stuff, and everything's free through the library and stuff. We're also going to talk about some of the other library um, services and stuff, but mostly we're going to focus on Libby uh, because it's kind of the new thing that came out October 1st. Okay, so if you have any questions, Sorry. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the chat. And welcome to class. <laughs> and the biggest thing I always want to do is ask, how can I help? Okay. What questions do you have? How can I help? Um, you know, we even do gadget help and stuff like that. But, you know, if it wasn't too far off and ask a question, I'm happy to help in any way I can, okay? So let's talk about our schedule for the rest of the, the month here. <coughs> um, excuse me. So basically what we have going on this morning is that we're doing the Let's Talk About Libby, free ebooks and audiobooks class and other resources. And this afternoon at 2.30, we're going to be doing our app swap class. So I'll be talking about lots of different apps that I like and ones that I use every day. And you can even post in the class your favorite app, an app that you like and use a lot too. That could be helpful. We can share um, the you know different apps that we like on our devices and phones and tablets and stuff. So I encourage you to do that. So next week we'll actually be doing some turkey day stuff. <laughs> Some turkey day class stuff so we're going to be doing thanksgiving scratch class let's make a turkey feather catch game so that'll be a lot of fun and then on the 18th we're actually going to be doing a uh, turkey <laughs> thanksgiving scratch let's draw and animate a turkey so we're actually going to be using scratch to do a little bit of drawing and a little bit of animation so we'll be making some stuff from scratch and getting our turkey to do some little dancing and stuff like that and then in the Wednesday afternoon, we're going to be doing internet shopping and digital couponing. So come join us for that. And then on the 19th, we're going to be doing Let's Make a Turkey Feather Catch Game again at 11 a.m. Okay. And then and then the afternoon, we're going to be doing holiday gadget and gift ideas. So internet shopping, digital couponing kind of focuses on all kind of aspects of buying stuff online. But also it talks about Black Friday, Cyber Monday a lot. So the holiday gadget and gift ideas class is supposed to kind of go along with that. And of course, this month, what, what happens on the 26th? It's Thanksgiving Day, the 26th. We just have a little bit of a reminder, okay? Our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside holds pickup is available. You can go to gchrl.org for details or call the library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m., to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, uh, we actually ha are trying to do a subscribe drive right now. So if we can get a hundred subscribers to our YouTube channel, we'll actually get our own customized YouTube address. So it's easier to give out our information and stuff. So please hit subscribe if you're watching this on, well, you're watching this on YouTube. So just please hit subscribe. And also, uh, if you can't find us, just search YouTube for GCHRL videos and our channel will pop right up. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to go ahead and open up. Now, like I said, our focus really is the, the Libby app today to try to talk about that, the free audiobooks and ebooks. But I'll talk about that and then I'll go into some other library resources that are available as well. Okay. 
So come for the free eBooks, learn about uh, free law resources and Acorn TV. How about that? <laughs> and then everybody's a winner. All right, there it is. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually going to skip ahead. We'll talk just about Libby to begin with, and then we'll go back and talk about some of our other resources and stuff. And I also have, we're going to go to their website, and also I have a little video I'm going to play of uh, just kind of walking around Libby, okay? So I will disappear so I'm not blocking any information. <coughs> Excuse me. Libby is our new resource for the latest ebooks and audiobooks. With Libby, you can borrow free ebooks and digital audiobooks from your library. All you need is your library card. Now, the easiest way to talk about using Libby basically is the first thing is to download the app. Download the app. Now, the big thing is it'll actually ask you what is your, your library first. Now, don't say Columbia County. Don't say Harlem, don't say Grovetown either. Say Gro Greater Clarks Hill Regional Library System, okay? Then it'll, then it'll show some options and click the one that says Georgia Download Destination, okay? And then enter your library card number. Once you have that, you're all logged in and everything, you should be good to go. And then you should have, be able to have access and start borrowing books, okay? Now let's go ahead first, I want to show you <laughs> they have a great website. So it shows a little bit of interactivity here. And there's Libby right there scrolling down, looking through stuff. Now, currently, our Libby doesn't have uh, magazines or the comics on here yet. So a little bit later, we'll talk. Still talk about RB Digital having the comics in the the uh, magazines. Okay, it's available on Android devices and of course iPhones as well. All right, so let's scroll down and talk about Libby a little bit. It's kind of neat, their website, her head kind of pops up and down behind the book, which is kind of neat. All right, so let's talk about some of our features here. So this is brought to you by your local library and built with what they call OverDrive. So if you see, this is made by OverDrive. There you go. And let's talk about the good thing is you can read across devices. Um, all your loans, notes, bookmarks, and reading progress sync across your devices. So you can download this to more than one thing at a time. So let's say you wanted to read an ebook. You could have it on a tablet. Also have it on your phone some. Okay. Do remember that you can change the font size. So even if your device is still kind of seems kind of small in a way, do realize you can always change the default. Um, font size to be able to read it bigger if you wanted to. Another big thing is listening in your car. Okay, being able to enjoy audiobooks in your car, um, you can basically just need to hook up to the Bluetooth, or of course, plug it in with the headphone jack or something. Uh, more and more cars, of course, are coming with the built-in Bluetooth already in there. So you're driving somewhere, going to go travel somewhere, just go for a drive. You can listen to your, some of your audiobooks along the way. Okay, here's a big one too. So let's say that you're using a tablet 
like an iPad or something like that. That's not always connected to the internet. Maybe it's only connected when it, when it connects to Wi-Fi. Good thing about it is you can download off uh, for offline access. So let's say if you had an Amazon uh, Fire a tablet, okay, you could actually download uh, your book. And then if it's not online somewhere, or if you're going to somewhere that maybe they don't have internet all the time, that's possible. You can go ahead and pre-download your book and then there you go you can view your book um, you know view your book and everything all right or listen to your book lots of great reviews the big thing is in a minute I'll show our little video big thing is that it actually pushes to discover uh, new books which the RB digital would show you new stuff but this really kind of engages you more telling you about the different books so there are thousands of ebooks and, and audiobooks uh, hand selected by your library available for reading okay explore the collection through catalog guides subjects featured titles uh, cur um, curated lists I always want to say that's curtailed for some reason curated lists it's a delight to discover new books through Libby okay So this is kind of the reading experience. And here's our audiobook experience. Okay. An intuitive and beautiful audio player. Libby makes it simple to listen when and where and how you want. Swipe on the book cover to skip backwards or forwards. Increase <clears throat> playback speed up to three times. Set a sleep timer until the end of the chapter or five, 10, 30 minutes or more. So this is a really good one. So if you're someone that do listen to audiobooks when you're going to sleep and everything, you could set it for a 30 minute timer or a little bit more and then have it so it automatically turns off. So it won't be something like, uh, you it's like, well, I'll go to sleep, listen to my audiobook and four hours later, go, oh no, I completely lost my place because because uh, it's been playing for four hours. I didn't know it was gonna do that or something. Um, I've had that happen before and it's like oh no <laughs> I had that happen once when uh, um, I think I had the volume turned down for whatever reason and the audiobook was still playing in the background and I didn't realize it I was like oh no but anyway um, yeah the sleep timer and you can increase or decrease the speed uh, I won't say a movement but there's a bunch of uh, folks that you know say that they really like it being a little bit faster than normal by like uh, 1.3 times, not really that much faster, but it allows them what they say is to get through books. You know, if you were talking about a 10 hour book, you know, you may be able to cut off some, some time with that if you do do that. So I've got a little video and I'm, then I'll show another little video too. Meet Libby, the free one one tap reading app from your library. With Libby, you can borrow free ebooks and digital audiobooks from your library. All you need is a library card. When you open Libby for the first time, she'll help you find your library. Then, you can explore your library's collection and borrow titles or place holds instantly. On your shelf, you'll find all your loans and holds, as well as any titles you've tagged. Loans are automatically downloaded for offline use when you're on Wi-Fi. If you're using mobile data, you can stream titles until you're on Wi-Fi. Your loans are returned automatically on their due dates, so you never need to worry about late fees. Tap Manage Loan to see more options for each title, like returning early. Tap a title to open it and start reading. If you belong to a library in the United States, You'll see the option to send most ebooks to Kindle or to start reading in Libby. Use the bottom navigation to switch between your shelf, your library, and your current read. In the Libby menu, you can add a library, change your app settings, get help, and more. Download Libby to start borrowing today. Happy reading! That's just kind of a quick introduction to Libby.
In a second, I'll show... Meet Libby, sorry. the free... In a second, I'll show a, um, a video. This is kind of walking around. And, of course, you can share stuff. The big one, of course, is Libby Free. Absolutely, it's completely free. Uh, free to install. There's no subscription cost for, because it's through our library. No in-app purchases. No late fees, which is a big question I get asked. If I, if I check out the digital stuff, um, will it a... Uh, um, is there a late fee involved? Absolutely not. When, when the time's up, the time is up. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and minim let's, uh, well, I'll take it back. Yeah, we're fine. So let's minimize that and I'll show you the video. So this is basically a video I shot on my phone, just recorded the screen to kind of give you a little bit of an idea of uh, getting around Libby and stuff and encourage you to, to download it and try it out. So big thing here is I wanted to show that it shows a lot of discovery books. Discover. So there's our main area. We have our uh, loans, we have our holds, and then we have tags. Okay. So you see a book. You'll see things like it says play, borrow. So right now I don't have any books checked out. It'll show holds. Don't currently have anything hold. Okay. So if we look at one of our books, we tap something. It'll actually show us the cover of the book. We can click the borrow button on it. We see a description of it, how many hours it is. Is it abridged, who the author is and everything? And of course, who's reading the story too. It also shows us how many copies they have uh, for check available for checkout. And other books as well by the same author or in the same genre. So now let's look at just the general settings. So if we scroll down, it'll talk about where there's your search. There are your newly added uh, books. May ask you some questions that you can that are automate um, automated and talk to ask some questions. Ask and answer some questions, I guess. All right, so let's talk about our exploring part. There's some murder mystery section, some kids books. There's 14,000 um, uh, fiction books, 4,000 romance, literature, nonfiction, thriller books. Young adult titles. And I guess it's like self-help. Romance stuff. Books about books would be interesting. James Patterson, Patterson short, short books. And some do-it-yourself, digging in the dirt, composting, some fantasy stuff with dragons. Mysteries and sci-fi books. So kind of gives you a little bit of an idea. It's very quick to um, You know discover new stuff. So if we go to what's new We have our books Malcolm Gladwell James Patterson's on there. And if we do Spotlight, so that was uh, new books. This is Spotlight Books, talks about what's popular. And we have a Harry Potter. 
So we're going to tap our Harry Potter and we're going to listen to a, a sample and it'll show our player and our different options. And before it starts, I'll show up here. Here's our sleep timer. Here's your speed. Talking about well, your speed of the reading. And here's the sleep timer right there. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. Read by Jim Dale. An unabridged performance brought to you by Pottermore from J.K. Rowling. Chapter 1. The Boy Who Lived Mr. and Mrs. Dursley of Number 4 Privet Drive were proud to say they were perfectly normal, thank you very much. They were the last people you'd expect to be involved in anything straight. And that's it. That's just kind of a uh, preview of it. Just I'm just walking around the app a little bit, showing it off. So let's kind of delve a little bit more into Libby. And of course, if you have any questions, let me know. So Libby started on October 1st for us. Okay. RB Digital eBooks and audiobooks are moving over to Libby. Uh, borrow and enjoy all the same great eBooks and audiobooks you've loved in RB Digital. Transition from RB Digital process could take up to 24 hours. Now, this was something that is is a, a possible hindrance, but we do realize that uh, because there's not as you know, I guess a lot of people switching over very early in October, uh, that could have become an issue. I don't really think it's an issue anymore, but do realize if it does happen, just try again tomorrow. Okay. Once the transfer is complete, you will be able to access eBooks and audiobooks in the Libby app. Remember, if you currently have a book checked out in RB the RB Digital app, it will be available through the remainder of the lending period, so you can finish your title without disruption or risk of losing your place in the book. Okay. Your holds will not transfer from RB Digital, and your wish list and checkout history will not move to Libby. So do realize that. Okay. The wish list and checkout history will not be moved over. But we actually have a way to you can back that up and make a copy of it. Okay. Do not rush out and purchase a new reader. Most of our stuff is already supported. Devices that run RB Digital should work with Libby. Okay. It is not too early to download the Libby app um, from your app store and install it on your device. So all you need to do is search for Greater Clarks Hill. Uh, library system in Libby. If you currently have holds on RB Digital, holds will not be moved to Libby. You will need to place an ebook and audiobook on hold again in Libby. If you want to record your RB Digital holds, you can expo um, export your transaction history from the RB Digital website. Just go under My Account and click Profile. In addition, your wish list and checkout history will not be moved automatically to Libby. You'll be able to create your wish list using tags in Libby and mark titles you have already read using tags in Libby. Okay, so is this making something new? Yes, but do realize it's going over to the new system, so we'll have it for a long time. You can explore your transaction history from RB Digital website under My Account and click Profiles. So you'll have to either write down and then you know recreate that with the new Libby app just keeping track of what books you have in the past. Hey Jane, how are you? <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, there are more books, yes. Yes, Libby does have more books. J 
check it out. I think you'll be pretty pleased. All right, so only ebooks and audiobooks will be moved to Libby at this time. Please continue to use RB Digital for other types of digital content for our library, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute. We will let you know when these are ready to transfer to Libby. Okay. Inclusion, our library is proud to continue to offer you a wide selection of digital titles uh, for you to access anytime, anywhere through Libby, the one tap reading app. <laughs> we appreciate your patience in transitioning to Libby. Okay. So unless there's any other questions, I'll go ahead and start talking about some of the other things that we have um, available. We'll talk about some of the topics we'll go ahead and cover. Okay. So now we're going to talk about some of the other free resources uh, through the library. We'll talk about what you need. We'll talk about the Pines app. Now we talked about Libby, so we'll kind of uh, uh, zoom over that part. And then we'll talk about RB Digital, which still has the magazines, comic books, and Acorn TV. Video lessons to play different instruments as well. We'll talk about law resources, research. Uh, we'll talk about Galileo, Galileo for kids, continuing education things like Universal Class, Mango. We'll also talk about little known GCHRL.org resources that maybe you don't know about. And then we'll talk about, uh, you know, well, references and stuff, of course. But do we have any questions so far? Any questions? All right, so let's go right ahead. Animation, here it comes. So what do we need? We need our library card, don't we? Okay. That's a big one that we need. So, easiest way to gain access to a lot of this is to go to G our website, gchrl.org. So, let me pull that up. So, here's our county website for our libraries. Of course, yesterday was Veterans Day. We kind of scroll down. Right now, we're encouraging everybody to take a a, uh, a a a survey. Talks about our branches, gives information about our different branches. We have special hours. Here's some of our programs here. That's us right now. Yay! <laughs> Online programming is listed on here. Like I said, we're all kind of home, staying safe and everything. So we're doing all our, I know you, everyone is, so we're doing our, our classes virtually and everything. So all kinds of fun stuff that we're doing. Talking about our eBooks and audiobooks. Talks about here how to apply for a library card. And then talks about the, um, some of the other resources that we're about to talk about. And some new books too. All right, so let's scroll back up to the top. Now, if we click our menu here, that's how we access all our, our um, resources and that's available to us. There is a sign-in right here where you click accounts. 
right now I'm currently signed in what you do is you take your library card number you go here and you say sign up and it'll ask you some information fill it out and then it'll give you access now note that some of the services that we're going to talk about you will need to create a username and password for them okay I recommend you creating the same username and password so it won't get confusing okay let's talk about our pines app now this is the same uh, you can access all of this to the gapines.org website but trust me with the pines app it is a whole lot easier to do so okay so let's talk about what we have here our big thing of course is our search our search pulls up and you can actually search for our books e audiobooks and it will show uh, what if there's a CD audiobook available as well now the cool part about this is if you uh, expand your search you can actually see books that are actually available in other libraries or at other libraries I should say you can actually have those books moved or shipped I should say to the library near you for you can pick it up of course do the curbside uh, holds pickup as well okay the other part is you can actually have a, an easy way to find out what books are available when they're excuse me what books you have checked out and when they're due this is great especially let's say you have some little bits that checked out some a bunch of books the last time that you were uh, at the library you don't remember exactly which books they were so you're not sure when to bring them back so there you go items checked out it'll give a list of them and of course their due dates and one bonus is you can uh, most likely extend the due date on the the um, you know the books or DVDs to a certain point and then the other thing is because it's an app it will give you notifications about uh, what you have and when it's due okay so it can pop up and say hey in a few days you are, have that book due or do you want to check it out for longer and like okay well I'm out of town right now let me check it out for longer okay also you can put books on holds and do the car, car side holds pickup um, just contact the library uh, go to you know to the website and, and get more information about that but also you can do the um, thing where they hold the book at the front desk as well this one here will tell fine so before you even get to the library if you did have a book that was returned late and there is a fine do you realize with this you'll already know what it is to check out some more books um, so you know how to take care of it and you'll already know what the cost is also another thing is you can actually click there and pull up your um, your <laughs> library card <laughs> you can click the one that says show card pull up your library card the best thing is this actually does work with um, the self checkout as well so need your library card hopefully you have it hooked to your your keys in a way so you can pull that out or of course there it is right there with um, uh, be able to scan it just right here in the app okay makes things a lot easier let's talk about some of the pitfalls of the stuff that we're going to be discussing again I'll say many library services need you to set up a username and password beyond your library ID try to keep the same one to make it easier to remember now uh, not 100 sure about how holds work right now so I'll skip over that part but just realize that many sites uh, need to use gchrl.org as a gateway to log in okay so you need to go to gchr um, gchrl.org first sign in click the link and then it'll send a take a little bit of code to the to the website like RB digital or something it'll say hey you're from Columbia County goes yep that's me and then okay we'll click here and set up a username and password and then you do that okay 
Now, I do realize that some services like ebooks or audiobooks may be limited to a certain number of checkouts, okay? Best advice I can tell you is to just try again later. Try again this afternoon to recheck out that book or whatever, or try tomorrow or try next week, okay? Let's talk about RB Digital a little bit. Great part about RB Digital with the comics and the magazines. So we already talked about eBooks. We already talked about audiobooks. So our, that's on Libby and RB Digital still has the comics and the magazines and the other things that we can access as well. The best part about the digital stuff, of course, is there is no late fee. So let me go ahead and pull that up now. So we clicked our menu here. We're going to go to resources and click where it says digital library you click books there's Libby on overdrive right there RB digital comics is right there now this is going to show our comics that are available okay and it's all available right on the app I'm just showing the website right now but I'm going to go back to the main RB Digital Gateway. And then these are all the things that we can access with our RB Digital. Okay. So let's firstly, we talked about our comics. Just check them out. Let's talk about our magazines. So let's click more information. So lots of great full magazines are on there. Best part is if you get a device and I kind of recommend and you can actually see in our gadget, uh, you know, holiday gift ideas, Christmas gift ideas and stuff. Um, you know, uh, Amazon Fire tablet are very inexpensive. They're not as powerful as an iP um, iPad, of course. And the interesting thing about it is that it makes a great gift, but you can see a magazine on them fairly well because, of course, it's bigger. So we go through here, and this kind of goes more into what, uh, let me see if I can make it do more. Let's see, do 100 here. More, more or less, it's like what magazines aren't on here. Uh, Consumer Reports is in a different location. Okay, Photography most any subject that you're kind of interested in okay learn to play the guitar finance living stuff health magazines there's national geographic national geographic traveler is really neat pc magazine oprah's on there popular like science, popular uh, photography, Reader's Digest, Rolling Stone, let's see, fitness stuff, entertainment magazines. Oh, where's recipe one? Let's look at that one. Now you can click here and go back to previous magazines too, okay, previous issues. Oh, and it kind of started over. Let me see if I can jump down here pretty quickly. And just click there to keep going to the next big list, okay. So has a lot, lot of different choices here. Here's home H, HGTV. There you go. It's the current issue right there. HGTV magazine, and all the previous ones are on there as well. Okay. All right. So let's go back. We talked about our magazines. Now let's talk about the musical artist section as well. And then we'll talk about Acorn T TV, Indie Flicks, and Quello which is kind of like our TV watching. So there's our comics on there.
All right, so now as we look at our artist works, See something. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's look at artist works. And we have a little video I can show too. So basically, it's basically uh, music lessons, okay? So let's look at our little video. Artist Works for Libraries offers you the highest quality instructed music and art lessons available online today. These video libraries are recorded by our award-winning and highly acclaimed teaching artists and presented so that learners of all skill levels and experience can progress. We provide detailed lessons in a wide variety of instruments, genres, and mediums. Our lessons cover the fundamentals for those just starting out intermediate lessons for those slightly more experienced, and advanced lessons for more seasoned learners. You'll also have access to sample video exchanges in each skill level. Artist Works for Libraries is a great way to learn music or art on your own schedule from the comfort of your home, while having access to today's most sought after teachers. There you go. All right, so if we actually go there, Talks about online music. Now remember, this is all free through the library. And it kind of talks about the different teachers and the different courses that they have too. So let's look at our, um, we'll look at uh, mandol um, mandol <laughs> mandolin. <laughs> so click here, you'll see that it'll list all the courses. Okay. We have like a quick overview here. And then our video will play. And it keeps track of which ones you've watched. to the mandolin school, the classical mandolin school. And uh, so I'm very happy you joined the site. And uh, so I uh, hope that you will enjoy all the pieces I picked. I really uh, tried to make from the beginning really a lot of music and uh, not just exercises so that you really have fun also uh, with, with even the beginning stuff. And uh, I think even if you are uh, already an advanced player in maybe even a different style, very advanced. All right, so it's just kind of a little bit of introduction walking around here. Like I said, it keeps track of what you've watched, the completion of it and everything. All right, so we talked about the comics, the magazines, the artist works, the musical instruments, okay. Now let's go ahead to our next part. Now we're going to skip over the Libby part. So let's talk about La Depot, okay. The game access on La Depot, it's easiest to use the RB Digital. We click La Depot here. Individual, personalized, state. And we actually have a little tutorial. Oh no, okay. So if we browse our documents, let's see if that works. There we go. 
I think you will have to sign up or, or sign in, but I'm not going to do that right now, but just kind of give a little bit of idea, okay? Oh, it signed me right in. There you go. So 15 minutes, you can do some very easy uh, parts about it. And let's go back to our handout, and I'll kind of walk through that instead. Uh, legal forms that you can create. Uh, Legal forms, uh, you know, you know, create legal forms, last will and testament, living will, bill of sale, okay, child medical consent. It'll basically be parts that you fill out. Um, do realize that our libraries do have notaries, okay, available, you know, if they're there. <laughs> or you may have to set up a special time or something. But do realize that your bank probably does um, notary as well. But this would allow it to be a one-stop shop Come to the library, print something, work on, you know, go access this, get it available, whatever the form is, print it, and then have a notary um, uh, sign it and have a, um, a witness as well. Okay. Can I get a witness? And this kind of goes through and lists the other uh, things that are listed on there. And you see that I actually have full access because I went to the library first, even though it does say, Law Depot too. Okay, so plan the state rental agreement, sell a vehicle or personal property. Handshake can go a long way, but if you can come here, make one of these very quickly. Um, there you go, right there. Lending somebody some money with a, a short term, that that would be very much of trying to, um, you know, know when you're going to get your money back. I guess that's a good one right there. And you just kind of go through, you create it, ask some questions. Big thing is the last will and test. The last uh, will and testament is who gets your stuff. Have power of attorney, healthcare directives, all kinds of stuff on here. And the ones I mentioned the first, these I mentioned here is mostly because I asked the librarians what are people mostly asking about for legal forms, and that was it. And this fills that um, question. Okay. All right, so let's talk about Galileo a little bit. Okay. So if we go to our website, We're going to talk about the, the other ones in just a minute. I get that issue sometimes. I'm not sure why. So if we go to menu, talk about Galileo here, let's go to our menu here, say menu, I'll say education and research, if I say research, it'll say Galileo, okay? Now what you need to access Galileo is you actually need to have the um, password, okay? Now, to get the password, just basically ask a librarian about it, and it'll actually give you access. And then we do have a, some K-12 information as well. Be able to search where the public library, okay. And all you need to do is type in the password, call the library, ask librarians, and they'll actually give it to you, no problem.
Okay, so what can we get with that? Allows access over 100,000 databases, indexing thousands of periodicals and scholarly journals. This information is not available through free uh, search engines or web directories, okay? Over 100, so it's not available on Google. Over 10,000 journal titles are provided in full text. Other resources include encyclopedias, business directories, and government publications. Galileo password may be required for some services, okay? And also has the kids section so that it can do some specifics about searching for elementary uh, resources. All right, so let's talk about our TV part, okay? Okay, give me one minute here. There you go. Whoop. Need to click that far. So let's talk about some free st stuff that we can access the library with the seven day free subscription and that's a continuing seven day uh, subscription as well okay so you can subscribe to it after seven days just resubscribe to it again okay so go back go to let's see where is it Mm. Mm. Hold on, digital library. There you go. Kind of easiest to find it this way, because all we want to do is go to our RB Digital Gateway. So our first one is let's talk about Acorn TV. Now Acorn TV has everything British that's on it. It's kind of its focus is British stuff. So we have our popular shows that are on here. Things like Midsummer Murders, kind of murder mystery kind of stuff. Uh, murder Art Mysteries, which is a fun series. Agatha Christie's Perot, Agatha Raisin, all kinds of fun stuff. Really entertaining. And you see it has tons and tons of, and I'll show a little trailer here. Whoop, there we go. Uh, lot, tons of great stuff on there. And again, it's one of those where you subscribe to it using the RB Digital. And I'll give you instructions to do that in a minute. It is commercial free, which is a big one. And I think I can access it. Let's see, to show you. Okay, I don't want to do that right now. Hold on. I want to show the little video. All right, so let me show you the video. A little preview of what they have available. Rule number one, get them laughing. That's uh, basically the holy grail of treasure hunting. Well, no, the holy grail is the holy grail of treasure hunting. Well, you're going to be pedantic. Do you bathe at all? Yes, I do. Well, it's obviously time to step it up. I seem to spend my life searching for patterns. What if there isn't one? She's done nothing wrong. Why don't you just leave? I have come halfway around the world for you. I'm not giving up that easily. Are you interrogating me? Well, of course not. Uh, simply asking the questions that need to be answered in order to find out who killed him and why. I 
I figured you out. Well, you've succeeded where so many ex-wives didn't. Are you and I? It's all over this, Jack. No question, you were next. This is not a game, mon ami. Tell me the truth now. It is your only chance. That's just kind of a preview of some of the stuff that they have available on there. Lots of great stuff. I actually started watching some of the Jack Irish show um, miniseries on there. It's pretty interesting. Okay, so... That is Acorn TV. Now let's talk about Indie Flicks a little bit. Indie Flicks kind of focuses on international um, you know, shows and movies and stuff. Mostly movies, I believe. Uh, but it's international. good part about it, of course, if it's not dubbed, then it's subtitled on here. And But they also have classic shows as well, classic movies and stuff. Classic shows like Beverly Hillbillies, Bonanza, Dragnet, to Robin Hood, which is kind of neat. Movies, Magnificent Seven, He the Night, The Hustler. And let's just look at that for a second. So I'll go back here. And then we'll click on Indie Flicks. They don't have a trailer. But we could kind of browse through their catalog a little bit. I thought I did. Okay, hold on. I think I did that last time. <laughs> Here we go. So basically, it kind of shows. This is their on the oh, this is their discovery page that they're talking about. So a lot of docu international documentaries. There's kind of classic movies, one with Cary Grant in it. New ones that they've added. This is new, yeah, recent movies. wildlife action adventure movies <laughs> dramas and then they have documentaries too <gasps> mystery of Bigfoot there you go right there I'm interested let's see legendary creature Bigfoot do you think they find him Bet they do. All right, so comedies, dramas, short films are on here, and animated, which is kind of interesting. And they have a big collection of uh, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeers on here. Well, there you go, right there. If I live to be a hundred, sure I'll never be able to forget <laughs> that big snowstorm a couple of years ago. The weather closed in and. Well, you might not believe it, but the world almost missed Christmas. Oh, excuse me. Call me Sam. What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a talking snowman before? Well, there you go. <laughs> Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Love this Christmas. Could it be Lips. that some of you are not? You know, stupid, do you? It's the same story. All right, so. That's funny. So you'll never know what's kind of on here. So kind of get the question is who's this? Who's this for? And you go well. It's kind of for anybody. This is the original um, Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Alice 
so well. Not really a trailer. I think that's more like a, that shows the beginning of it. But anyway, lots of interesting things. You never know what you'll see. <laughs> uh, there's animated stuff, Arabian Nights. Let's see. Santa stuff. Planet of the Apes is on here. Kung Fu, Jackie Chan, Jackie Chan, Jackie, uh oh, oh. All right, so lots of interesting stuff. On Indie Flicks. And that's available to her seven days. Just do a checkout. So basically what you do is once you do check it out using the RV Digital, you basically can load the app up on other devices, your phone. The Roku is what I recommend, Amazon Fire Stick, and then you can watch it on your TV. We do a full cord cutting class. <laughs> cord cutting class. Uh, for people that are interested, we'll probably do another one of those coming up in December because of, you know, people are looking into, um, you know, trying something different. Maybe you want to make a purchase for someone uh, during the holidays and surprise maybe even the whole family. So we'll definitely do one about that. And basically after the seven days it expires, just go back in uh, to the RB Digital and just recheck it out, okay? All right, so let's talk about one of our really great one. Oh, good. Jane really likes the Aussie mysteries. Those are neat. All right, so next thing is let's talk about our continuing education I don't know why I'm getting that every once in a while it's aggravating hmm Give me one moment, folks. Maybe maybe there's our right, website's having some issues. Here we go. Pull right back up then. Huh. I don't know. Okay. So all right, come on. Oh, it's gonna think about it. Maybe our website's having a little bit of issues. It does happen. Okay, come on, just load it up. Or maybe there's it's updating. Okay, so let's go to education and research. And you'll see something that says continuing education. And here's about the language class, okay. Here's English, English as a second language. So let's click where it says universal class. Now the big thing about this is, so I've clicked since I had already logged into the site, it pops up and says, hey, you're from Columbia County. Yep. So I want to sign in and I'm going to go this way and sign in and then bring it back. There we go. So I'm logged into Universal Class. The big thing about Universal Class is that it is a fantastic resource. Tons of classes on here. Really interesting. The reason I chose these four is I kind of use these as our big examples here. So this one here is like for someone that wants to learn like coding or something. So they are right here in HTML. All right. The 10 hour class. This one here is about for general receptionist. Okay. The good part about it is you can of course put these things on your resume as well reason I chose this one is to kind of imagine two people coming into a business and they have credentials that are similar um, 
you know, similar background and everything. But one of them is actually taking a six hour uh, receptionist course and that could give them an edge over the other person for getting the job, okay? So this could give someone an edge. This one here is more like someone in the office and says, hey, I want to make sure that I'm up to date on everything, you know, kind of office related. So maybe they do want to take like an Excel course or they do want to take a, um, you know, Word class or PowerPoint or something. This will allow you to do that. And this is all free through the library. Their website costs, but if you go through our library, then it's free. And the cool part about this is, is you see that it is the latest version. This is the latest 2019 is the latest version of Excel. Uh, this one over here is kind of like, hey, I want to start my own home-based business. I want some kind of instructions. There's even uh, videos, of course, about um, soap making <laughs> is on here. Sell your own soap, maybe even take one of our eBay buying and selling and Facebook Marketplace buying and selling classes, and then you'll be good to go. Okay. The other thing is, uh, you know, you could go to maybe like a farmer's market or something and sell your stuff that way. Create your own home-based business just by taking a class. So let's go back and we're going to look at some of our stuff on there. So self-help, real estate. Let's look at our computer stuff first. So here's our computer classes. Some of the ones we talked about up there. Very program-based. Google Slides, eBay, JavaScript, Publisher, PowerPoint 2019, and then here at the bottom, you know, like Windows 10 or something. So most of the classes, what happens is it tells you how many hours uh, to expect to spend. Okay, We have our course description that's up here. And then we show a little bit of preview, of kind of what to expect. And it has videos in it, lots of video training. Okay, not just book reading. And it breaks up the course into different lessons. Okay, now one thing I could imagine is you could actually log in, set up, say I want access to the class, go in and maybe even only read one lesson if that's what you're interested in. Okay. There's the um, learning outcomes. And then it talks about your certificate of completion. Okay. So basically, you have a certificate that you can print out, and it does have a unique serial number on it, something that you can share that you did complete the course. Okay. And like I said, these are actually uh, good for continuing education credits if you need that. All right, so let's go back. Now, a lot of these do have the, it's an introduction, like a video introduction. Let me see if I can find one real quick. Uh, Cookie one is really good. That's one I usually show. Let's see if I can show a different one real quick. Here's pet and animal care. There's bird watching, dog psychology, dog training for beginners. Ah. <laughs> She's kind of chewing on the bone there. That's funny. Dog training. Pet sitting and walking, making a business out of it. So there you go. Whole business right there. All right, so let's go back. I think I'll show the cooking one because it's a, it's a good one. So if I click there, and I say crafts and hobbies, you scroll down, it says it has candle making, cake, cake decorating on there, 
Here's our soap making one that we talked about. Here's cooking and baking. And I'll show a minute or two of this. Before you can really start to feel comfortable in the kitchen, it's important to understand why you are there and what you hope to accomplish. Like all things you learn in life, you must have a good, solid foundation before you can build on it and become proficient. What is cooking? Cooking can be loosely defined as any action in your kitchen that gets you from point A, a pile of ingredients, to point B, a meal. It is the act of assembling ingredients and or applying heat to ingredients for human consumption. This means that cooking can be as simple as assembling vegetables to make a salad or as complicated as combining a number of different ingredients on a stovetop over a period of three hours. Cooking is actually an umbrella term for a number of tasks and activities. It's kind of like when you think of the word clothes. When you get dressed in the morning, the word clothes really means quite a few things. Undergarments, shirts, shorts, pants, dresses, and socks all fall under the category, even though it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to wear them all at once. In the same way, you can cook using a variety of different methods. You don't necessarily use them all at once, but each of them still counts as cooking. There are ten basic types of cooking. 1. Roasting. Roasting is done when you cook food using dry heat. In the historical sense, this includes placing a large piece of meat on a stick and putting it over flames. In the more modern sense, this includes putting things in your oven. Meat and vegetables are the most commonly roasted food items. 2. Broiling Broiling is also typically done in an oven. However, the heat comes from the top of the oven rather than the bottom. You can broil anything from a toasted cheese sandwich to fish. 3. Grilling Grilling is when you cook food directly over a heat source. It includes outdoor grilling on a barbecue as well as indoor grilling. For example, when you cook a steak in this way, you place it directly on the grill above the charcoal or flames. 4. Frying Food is fried when it is cooked in some sort of fat, like lard, butter, or oil. It can be done in an oven, a fryer, or a pan. Fried foods are usually higher in calories and fat than food cooked in other ways. 5. Boiling This occurs when the food is placed in boiling water. So as you see, it kind of goes step by step, brings us some new ideas. And if we scroll down to this section, you'll actually see that there's a chef that'll stand there and talk about our different techniques. So it's a fantastic resource uh, for us to have, okay? And all through our library card, your tax dollars at work. All right, so let's talk about mango a little bit here, continuing education, our new language, or if you're learning English as a second language, here you go right here. Great resource. So let's finish up talk about some of our other resources and kind of send you in the right direction and then we'll kind of wrap up class. So uh, BrainFuse is our newer service. It's right there on our website. Um, it actually has live tutoring on it, uh, writing labs, uh, the Skill Surfer is a really good one. It has videos and stuff. Uh, mostly it's for uh, focusing on kids in school. They also have a virtual parachute set up looking for career skills. And they also, you can create your own flashcards to help you with tests and also different little games and stuff. They also have a, uh, a Zoom-like 
um, study room that you can have and set that up virtually. So I'll kind of cover these and then we'll wrap up class. So a big thing is little known resources that you may or may not know that's available in there. The Augusta Chronicle collection is on there. You can search uh, Augusta Chronicle and Augusta Herald now has been added. Um, there are continuously adding more and more and more to there if you're looking for doing some research. Okay. Consumer Reports magazine is on there. It's available as well. Also, Merchant Intelligence allows you to research tons of private uh, businesses. And of course, if you're looking into stocks and stuff, we do have the Ancestry at our library, but it's not a customized version. But you can use Heritage Quest for at home. Okay. Gale has a lot of, and that's under Digital Library, you just re click Reference Books, and it'll say Gale has a lot of travel books on there that people may or may not know about and some other resources on there as well so on our main branch we actually have some brochures you can pick up as well and all the libraries are you know can access all of this also okay so if you have any questions let you know let a librarian know happy to help in any way All right, so we're just kind of finishing up class here. So we covered a lot, didn't we? And let's talk about what class we're going to be doing this afternoon. So this afternoon's class is called App Swap, so come join me with that. And here's, of course, a list of some previous classes that we've done that are still available up on our, our library YouTube channel. And also App Swap, I'll talk about a whole bunch of different apps. Um, you bring an app and tell me about your favorite app that you use, and we can kind of share and swap our apps together, okay? Don't forget about Libby. Share Libby with friends or family as well. Um, some of them may, uh, who knows, may be paying an expensive service where they can be using their library card, okay? Just know that our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside Holds Pickup is available. You can go to gchrl.org for details or call in the library questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to, to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel for updates. Remember, we're doing that subscribe drive. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're trying to get 100 subscribers to our YouTube channel so we can get our own customized YouTube address. Of course, you can search YouTube for GCHRL videos and it will pop right up. Well, hope you learned something new. It was wonderful having you with me today. Make sure to stay safe and everything and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great Thursday. <laughs> See you this afternoon. Bye-bye. <laughs>